Hey guys, um, I need your help with something. But first, I gotta tell you about Sweden, I guess. Um, it's, it's, <laughs> it's cool to be here. It's really cool to be here in Malmö. Um, but there's one huge problem. I have no idea how to speak Swedish. Oh my god. It's so hard to understand. I seriously don't get it. Um, okay, so here it is. Like, the Scandinavian languages, Danish, Swedish, and Norwegian, which are like three neighboring countries. They are pretty similar in words and grammar and ish, uh, but, but they're not completely the same at all. Um, and, wow, I never thought Swedish would be this hard. I'm like, okay, I'm walking my dog to this um, park exclusively for dogs with like fences and stuff. And uh, there's always dog owners, and they're always chit-chatting away in Swedish. And I really want to join their conversation, <laughs> but I have no idea what they're saying. It's crazy. Um, there was like this lady, old lady, talking about, I think it was her holiday in Tenerife, or something like that. And she was talking to me, and I was like, Excuse me, what are you saying to me? You should like, blah blah blah. Ha, ha, ha. I was like, ha 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 ha. ha. <laughs> it was weird. Um, but I, 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 I'm kind of managing. Um, it's okay when I go to the grocery store. You know, the numbers are pretty similar. Just uh, hey, dog, blah blah, fish. Oh my god, I have to show you something. Like, a really Swedish thing to eat. It's right here in that country. Uh, there we go. Ah! This is really Swedish to eat. It's Vasa Knickbolt, uh, it's called. I actually don't think it's got like uh, an English name for it. But Knickbolt, it's awesome. I gotta show it. These huge slices of thin, crispy bread. Mmm. It's awesome. You eat it for breakfast, for lunch, for breakfast, practically anything. And when you go to the grocery store, they have like an entire effing aisle completely devoted to Knickpol. It's pretty. Wow, <laughs> they eat a lot of it over here, and we totally don't do that in Denmark. But anyhow, um, so that's sweeping for you, Nicole. Um, but, but yeah, um, I told you I needed your help with something, and it's true. I really need your help because this hair color is a no go. Because whenever people see me at this at the um, sandwich uh, store that I work on, um, they go, oh my god, is that like your natural hair color? Oh my god, it's like so beautiful of you, like totally. Like, eh, no, it's not my natural hair curl. I wish, <laughs> but it really isn't, as most of you will know. I've had a thousand hair colors. And this is seriously the first where people freak out because it suits me oh so well. I don't know what it is, but meh. So I'm gonna change it. Also because you can really see it in the bottom growing out. So, <laughs> yeah. I really want to change it because before it goes all wrong. So, I need your help to pick a hair color for me. And if you go through the archives of Bjorn Clausen related material, um, you will see the different hair colors that I've had, but I'm just gonna um, um, give you a few to pick from. There's a black color, which I've had kinda a lot, but not in a while, so maybe. Um, I've been red a few times, but not kinda this red. I've been darker brown, 
um, darker than this. Ah! Um, and I've been blonde. Yeah, that was one weird period. Yikes. Um, anything else I've been? Well, I've been those kind of one off hair colors that you can uh, wash out like the next, next day or two. I've been purple, that was fun. Um, but I need your help to pick one. Don't go like green or blue or that kind of stuff. It has to be not all natural, but yeah, ish. Uh, so write a comment below um, on which hair color you'd like me to have. Don't go blonde. Uh, and whatever gets the most votes, I'll do. And you'll be there to witness it. Ah! So that will be fun. Um, yeah. Okay. I'll see you later, YouTube. And uh, pick something good.